All right, guys. So last episode of Valhelsia 3, we set up this tree farm. If you guys have not checked that out, I highly recommend you do. Uh, this We've gone through all of our bone meal. If you guys watched last episode, you know we put a bunch of bone meal in there. It's already gone through. Uh, our wood shortage problem is uh, a thing of the past. We have 14,000 uh, oak logs here. Uh, this is the most we have of anything now. These don't count because these are just our ores that are just converted into nugget form. But yeah, we have uh, all the wood ever. Yeah, we don't really, we don't really need, don't really need that anymore. Look at that, we just made all these chests. Very cool. So I did want to go ahead and try some stuff with you guys. We're gonna try to get some uh, fortune, fortune books. Uh, I'm just gonna do like a little time lapse with me doing that, and then we'll see if we can get some fortune three because we desperately need to set that up. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I can't actually believe the odds of getting two Fortune 2 books in a row, but we have gone ahead, we got our books there, you guys have video proof that I went ahead and got it real, real way, so let's go ahead and get Fortune freaking 3, oh my gosh, we also got a uh, Infinity book as well, and a Looting 3 book that I was really happy to get, uh, yeah, so we can go ahead and just chuck these all away, we don't need to really enchant all that much more anymore, uh, but let's go here at Refined Storage, and we'll go ahead, and here you are. Okay, so what do we need for that middle piece? Oh, just an upgrade. <gasps> How can we be out of that? That's okay, we can make a heck ton of this. Now this will eliminate the problem that we've been running into. Which, if you're wondering about the problem, uh, not fortune, yeah, fortune three. Okay, so like this. Oh, that is so good to see so now all we need to go ahead and make is a what are these called constructor and deconstructor i didn't say that right don't don't let it bo bother you promise me okay now just one of those and then we should be able to make both of these okay so we're just gonna do some simple stuff here i got a text message i'm sorry about that i can't really control it and let's go ahead. We need some speed upgrades. Need all the speed upgrades we can get. One, uh, we can get one. <sighs> Gotta smelt up some more sand. Hey, look, construction and deconstruction. Deconstruction. We're gonna set this up in here to go ahead along with our process in room. <laughs> I like how I finished <laughs> that up on the spot. I'm a G. Oh my gosh, guys, we just got done with a live stream. And we just, I just played Hypixel with a bunch of my fans. And I'm going to be honest with you. It is probably one of my top 10 streams. Uh, I had Butcher playing with me. And it was just it was just so much fun to play with him. And my, my, my fans, you guys, I love you guys so much. Uh, and it was really cool just being able to, to just take a couple hours out, out of my day before making this video and just play some Minecraft with you guys. So thank you for those who were there. If you guys weren't there, it seems like Butcher and I are going to try to start doing a... Uh, a Saturday night community night pretty much where we just go ahead and play some stuff with you guys So if you guys are interested in that do let us know Because um, I would I would love for you guys to go ahead and play with us, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead We need to find some treated wood if I still have some I also did find some edelwood logs while I was out looking around which is pretty cool. Those can come in handy later um, I don't think we have any more of those. We might need to go ahead and get some what? That didn't work. How do you make treated wood now? You can only get it from villagers? Wait, what? Okay, so I think the recipe might be broken. Um, I guess we won't be... Won't be using that for the backing. Um, I'm a little worried about that, honestly. We'll just use some spruce wood. That is okay. It's kind of close. I'm not very happy that we won't be able to use treated wood. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and put this bad boy here. All right. 
So we're gonna have to actually, might need to tear this out. I'm not too sure, uh, but we're going to have this as a temp block. All right, so the constructor up top, deconstructor down low. And we're gonna put a fortune three upgrade here, three speed upgrades, and then, oh shoot. Um, shoot. How do we, how do we set this up? Okay, so I think we, I do have an alternative way. It's just not gonna be as fast as I would like it to be. Uh, but we can go ahead and use these guys and just use an exporter to do it. Not too, oh shoot, I need those cables back. <laughs> not too happy about it, but it is a good alternative. Um, they are pretty quick. <sighs> that honestly really sucks. I'm, I'm not too happy that we have to do it like this. I was hoping we could do it a, for a much cleaner way. Or just a way that didn't look so freaking, ah. ah. I'm just whining, don't worry about me. Uh, so if we go here like this, we can just place that, and then we can export our items to there. Um, yeah, we'll just probably go through the top here, maybe. So we need... Uh, da, 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 da. Where does cable be? There you be, cable. All right, come on over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this guy this way. Heck, we'll just run it like this. Don't worry. This needs to be broke. Okay. This will go here. Uh, we'll just... For lack of not wanting to... Ah, uh, uh, we need to go down one. Ah, it's going to make me do it like this, isn't it? Make it look half decent. Okay. So this will break things. This will place things. Anything that we put in here to be exported will place the block here. This will break it with Fortune 3. And we should be able to automate quartz and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. All right, so let's give this a shot. Um, we're actually going to break this, these two again. And I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to grab some quartz here. We're just going to see how well this works. It is going to get backed up here pretty quickly. Uh, we're going to grab quartz and coal. Probably just start with coal here and see how fast it actually takes to break. All right, so we throw coal into here like this. Let's go check our system. Look at that. It's definitely working. All right, so we're gonna go ahead here, grab all of the ores that I have left over, including diamonds, these guys, lapis. Coal's in there already. We have quartz we need to put in, silver don't worry about. Box, don't worry about. Another ore, don't worry about. Okay. So this is definitely going to work. Perfect. Look at that. It's just chiseling away. Now, eventually, the, the idea would be to have another one, uh, but we really don't have that luxury right now. This is just going to fill up. Oh, those did, those did get in. Cool. So once it does get through them, don't know what I'm doing. Don't do that. If you're doing this too, don't do that. Holy heck. That's full of power. All right, so we're going to try to go down one more block with this. Just so we can do that. So that makes it look kind of better. I am really salty that we don't have any more treated wood. Oh, look at that. We got one more. <laughs> one more plank. Woohoo! So our automation part of this has been set up. It's beautiful. Kind of slow, but we only have one Fortune 3 guy. So we do have to kind of just let this just go. Why does the deconstructor get so many, but the constructor only gets one? It's kind of lame. Kind of lame. But that method does work out. 
so we don't have to worry about it. Cool. So once those get processed up, everything will be good to go. All right, guys, so for the rest of this video, we're gonna go ahead and pay some special attention to some spawners because we can go ahead and upgrade these bad boys now. So it looks like the decreased maximum spawn delay. Oh, it is the speed upgrades for mechanism, which is cool. Ender air in a bottle. Uh, this decrease increases the spawn count. As uh, so you can put eight of these on. Um, let's have, let's see here, the one that we want. Um, no spawn condition, ignores nearby players. Uh, yes, so we want the anchor upgrade. We're gonna go ahead I believe we have four spawners in there, so we're gonna go ahead and crush these bad boys up. All right, and with those crushed up, we're gonna go ahead and make the anchor upgrades, and then we're gonna see if those do work. Let's go ahead and have a look. All right, so our spawners are down here below. Um, okay, so that did work. All right, so those should continue to spawn as long as we are not in the area, which is very cool. It used to be, I believe, another star to do that. So I'm glad that those are good to go. Uh, let's go ahead back here. Let's go ahead and make some speed upgrades as well. Uh, yeah, so it'll be boom, 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 boom. Um, increase the play range, increases spawn range. We don't want that. How do you get a barrier? Ignore spawn conditions. Barriers must be cool. No spawn cap, nothing. Enables redstone control and then changing. So to get these, Oh, the capturing enchant is here. That has been added in. If you look here, yep, capturing. Get up to capturing five. Ooh. We should go ahead and see about getting an Enderman one. That'd be pretty neat. We do have a few extra levels. Yeah, let's go ahead and use some of these levels. We're going to be using just one diamond sword. And we'll go like this. We do have the materials to convert it over to a netherite one, but we're not going to use that. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Trust me. Let's come over here real quick. Lots of enchanting this episode. All right. Didn't get it on that one. We're going to use these couple levels that I do have. Sharpness. Nope. Didn't get it. Looting two. Nope. Didn't get it. Unbreaking. Nope, didn't get it, okay. Whoops. So I will continue to do that when we, until we get the capturing enchant on one of our, our diamond, on our tools. So we can go ahead and swap the spawners out. That's very cool. Now the only thing I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of is we can't really, what are these? Nope, okay, so the, the player traps, um, when we hit them with, with these guys here, um, like blazes, they're not a big fan and they all fly up like a player just attacked them, um, which is not very cool. Can be disabled with redstone. Not just a damage one. I wanted to touch it with magic damage. Mobs can spawn on and in it. That's actually really cool. Okay. Um, set them on fire. That'd be a good one for like a cow farm. Wither. Toxic poison to death. Fatigue. Make them have mining fatigue. They can't mine. Oh, no. Okay, so back to the spawner thing. What is a special spawner? I don't know. Uh, but let's go ahead and make some more of these speed upgrades. Yes. Slip. Well, that's gone forever. Gosh, that was a good shot. Holy heck. Oh, I'm going to get shot again. All right, don't worry, guys. We'll eventually make this look really good. Trust me. So those should be upgraded by a lot. And so what I did go ahead and do, guys, um, so not only can we stand here and collect experience, but I put the Ender Hopper on the actual drawer controller, so it starts filling these bad boys up. And as you can see, they are it's, it's definitely working here. Yep, that just went up by one. We got potatoes, carrots, even iron ingots are getting dropped by the zombies because these are considered player kills. Unfortunately, this has been completely filled up. And, yeah, completely filled up. So these things just kind of despawn. Uh, I'm not really... I think it might not be a bad idea to put, like, hoppers down here going into lava or something because I don't want it to, to lag us out too bad. Uh, but those will be going for 
forever now, which will be cool as heck. We got our own spawner running 24-7, guys. Oh, yeah. And it's fast, too. It's very fast. Okay, so now what other upgrades can we do? Spawn count. Now, this is a good one, but I do need to go to the end for this. Um, increases maximum nearby entities. This isn't a bad idea. How do you get this? Oh, from the runestone. We have a few of this. Cool. Let's go ahead and smelt it up. Yep, that's good to go. We might put the like an automatic smelting thing there with an exporter, kind of like we did for our other things, but we'll do that later. All right. So a rune. Now this should stop it from hitting like a cap. So say if there are too many mobs in an area, uh, the vanilla mob spawners will only allow like say eight mobs to be within the spawning range before it'll spawn more. Uh, so if we go ahead and add these, it should allow us to have more within the area so that it can move even faster. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll just do the max. And I do that so that mobs can't get in there. We don't have to worry about spiders blocking it up because of just the way it is. As you can see, we come here and we get quite a few levels now when we come. I just go AFK here, here, AFK here a lot when I play Warzone with my friends. Uh, so that's a plus, but now that means we can also start pumping some bone meal over to this guy because we do have the cable connection uh, and then we just need to set one up over there to the external like an external drive to there so let's go ahead and do that now all right so first we'll need to go ahead and run a cable all the way back by you know digging out a hole and then filling it back in with the the cable so we can get our connection out here and then we would just hook it up here and we would be all good to go yeah, so that has been connected over to our, our system now. Uh, so we can go ahead and we'll be able to see all of the, the items that we're collecting in our, our storage system. This is why I love auto, or not auto, but uh, digital storage because we're able to connect so many different farms together just by a little, little cable. Little cable, little cable, you know what I mean? So yeah, if we look here, we can see the rotten flesh, we can see the bones. And all of that. So now all we need to do is we have the cable to go ahead and run it. We just need an exporter here. Uh, we need to get this guy, make it up. All right. There we go. Exporter. Let's go ahead and get some speed upgrades as well. I am speed. We're going to need these guys. Four. And sped. Perfect. And then we're also... Oh, we need the auto crafter. Okay. So... How do we auto craft this into bone meal? That's a big thing. Um, well, crafty crate from Batania with like an auto workbench. Um, there is a way we can do it with refined storage, but I think that's the limit that we are running into right now. Let's just make one of these, see what happens. Metal crafting table. So if we put this in here, and then we put... Okay, so that won't work, unfortunately. This is a cool idea, though, for a crafting table. I do like it. It kind of looks like a stove, honestly. Um, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to do it separately when we set up our auto-crafting system, which we're probably going to be doing next episode. We will get back to the mechanism thing, guys. I, I do promise we will do that. We're actually going to hold off on this until we do that, though. I thought there was an auto-crafting workbench available, but it doesn't look like there is. And the only thing... Yeah, this is only there. Uh, cooking table. We might get into that. Crafty table. And we get that from the elven trade. Okay, so we're not there yet in Batania either. Uh, crafting. So this might be a crafting table, like an auto craft table. So we might have to get into that. We'll test it out. We'll test it out. But guys, it's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been your friendly neighborhood super turtle. Just kidding. I'm not Spider-Man. But I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.